Hi, this is Dave from Priority Bicycles, and today I'm going to show you how to build your new Priority Ace. Now, before we get started, it's important to know that we always recommend that you either have a professional bicycle mechanic assemble your bicycle, or if you choose home assembly, make sure and have a professional bicycle mechanic safety check your bike after assembly and before riding. To get started, you'll need a pair of household scissors or a pair of diagonal cutters. Let's cut open the box, remove everything, and remove all the protective packaging. Whether you have an ace of spades like I do here, or an ace of clubs, the assembly process is the same. I've now unpacked the bike, and I've removed all the protective packaging. Let's take a look at what was inside the accessory box. First, you should have your owner's manuals. Now's a good time to stop and read them in their entirety before proceeding. You should have a white front and a red rear reflector, a four, five, and six millimeter Allen wrench, and a 15 millimeter open end wrench. You should have two pedals. On them, there will be a R for right and an L for left. Also, at the end of each pedal axle, you'll see an R and an L stamp. Now, let's grab our four millimeter wrench and get started with our handlebars. Out of the box, you might notice that the stem is pointed back. You also will notice with your fork legs that the fork legs tilt towards the back of the bike. You're going to want to turn your stem forward and ensure your fork legs are turned so that they're going towards the front of the bike. Now, grab your four millimeter Allen wrench and remove the face plate on the stem. Grab your handlebars. First, turn the handlebars so that the rear brake is going around the left side of the top tube and to the right side of the handlebar. Your front brake, which may or may not be installed, needs to come on the left side and should be hanging here. Put the handlebar in so that the knurled part is in the center and install the faceplate. You're going to want to screw in each bolt evenly. And we'll work in a star-like pattern to do a couple turns at a time on each so that we have even, even tension and torque around all of the bolts. Proper torque setting here is seven to eight Newton meters. Once they're finger tight, you can adjust so that your brake levers are around a nine or 10 o'clock position. As you're tightening these, again, in a star-like pattern, make sure that your rear brake is on the right side and your front brake is on the left side. Apply even torque in a star-like pattern. With your handlebars installed, Let's move on to the front brake. Your front brake cable should be the frontmost cable. Use your five millimeter Allen wrench to remove the recessed nut. You'll have a washer here. On the front of your fork should be a smooth hole. Go ahead and stick the brake through. On the rear, you'll find a recessed hole. Use the recessed nut, insert it into the hole and tighten. Once your brake is finger tight, you'll want to switch to the other side of the tool. Make sure that your brake is center and get it good and tight. It shouldn't be able to move or wiggle. Now, make sure your brake lever on the right hand side is in the up position. And let's get a 15 millimeter wrench to install your front wheel. Take your front wheel and loosen each nut significantly, moving the washer against the nut, leaving plenty of room on the axle to install the wheel into the fork. Then lift up the front of the bike. With the washers on the outside of the fork legs, closest to the nuts, install the front wheel. Holding it firmly in place, 
go ahead and tighten both sides by hand. Then use the closed end of your 15 millimeter wrench, apply tension evenly on each side until you get it really tight where the wrench should leave an indentation in the palm of your hand. With the wheel tight, you can flip down the brake lever. Check to see that your pads are equal distance from the rim. If they're not, you may need to loosen with the five millimeter wrench and recenter the brake and then retighten, of course. Now let's put the kickstand down and move on to the seat. Now, grab your five millimeter Allen wrench and loosen the seat clamp bolt. Pay attention, on the carbon fiber post, you'll see the minimum insertion mark in white. On the aluminum seat post, you'll see some dotted lines with the minimum insertion mark. Make sure, no matter which post you have, to install your seat post so that the minimum insertion marking is not showing. And then tighten your seat post. You'll be able to come back later and adjust this properly. Now let's move on to your pedals. We're gonna start with your right pedal. If you have a dab of grease, it's a good idea to put it on the pedal threads. Installing the right pedal is standard threading, so turn clockwise. You can do a little bit with your hand and then finish with the wrench. It's very important that you get your pedal really tight. You should put enough pressure on that the wrench leaves an indentation in the palm of your hand. Now move on to the non-drive side. With the left or non-drive side, this pedal is reverse threaded. That means you're gonna turn counterclockwise. Again, it's very important to get your pedals really tight. Tighten your pedals so that the wrench leaves an indentation in the palm of your hand. Now let's move on to the reflectors. For your red rear reflector, you'll need a household Phillips screwdriver. Remove the screw. And then open up the clamp so that the screw is on the non-drive or left side of the bike and tighten. Now let's move on to the white or front reflector. Similar to the rear, first remove the screw. Then at the thick part of the handlebar near the stem, put the reflector bracket around the handlebar and tighten. The reflector should be perpendicular to the ground. Make sure to inflate your tires. We recommend between 90 and 110 PSI. The Ace of Clubs uses a Schrader valve, where the Ace of Spades uses a Presta valve. If you have any questions about these, please contact us. With your basic assembly complete, now's a good time to go over the complete bike. Adjust all nuts and bolts, the ones we touched today and the ones we didn't. Make sure everything's correct to its torque specification, which is in the appendix of your owner's manual. It's a good idea to have a professional bicycle mechanic safety check your bike before riding it. We recommend that your wheel tension is checked. While we ship the wheels in good tension and true, they often come out of tension and true during shipping. Your wheels should be properly true and tensioned now, and we'd recommend doing so again after about the first 100 miles during break-in. If you have any questions at all about the ownership of your new Ace, please contact us. Our information's on screen, and we're here to help. Thanks for your support of Priority.